today's video. We are going to be going over my top five favorite higher end eyeshadow palettes. If you're interested in more of a drugstore affordable type eyeshadow palette, I did a video last week giving you updates on things like that from the drugstore that I like. I will list I will link the video in the description box below, but I have a box of my favorite, more expensive eyeshadows, and I will go through each one and give you reasons as to why I love these and why I think they would be a good option for you. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to grab things out of the box, and we're going to go over them. So the first thing I'm going to start with is actually this one I have a sentimental attachment to. This is the first um, expensive eyeshadow palette I bought for myself. I was in college, super broke, I worked at Kmart, didn't have a whole lot of money, and I wanted, it was at the end of finals, and I was obsessed with makeup, you know, Pinterest, I, bl I blame Pinterest for part of my problem, but I went into the store looking to treat myself to something, and I bought this, you can see I hit pan, um, pretty big on this one. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. Now, they have repackaged this, but to my understanding, I checked the shade names. The shade names are still the same. I lived for this row right here. If you saw my Natural Eye Look video, cream shade, medium brown, dark brown, golden. And then the way it's set up is you have more of an all-over lid shade, crease and then outer corner to go on. Love, love, love this eyeshadow palette. I will probably forever hold on to this just for, you know, weird sentimental reasons, but I really enjoy this. This is more, like it says, natural eyes, but you can go night with these two, honey pot and chocolate martini, give you more of a depth. Oh, I just got all over myself. All right, now I'm going to go into one that I love. This is by a fellow YouTuber, Laura Lee. Um, her brand, Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Nudie Patootie Palette. And one thing I love about, I mean, this sh color range is my jam. You've got your nudes, your rosy nudes. You have a rose gold in here. You have a bronzy taupe. You have a mustard yellow that... I am super obsessed with now. Some deep chocolate browns, and it is beautiful. I mean, the lighting kind of makes it hard because the package is metallic, but I will insert swatches, of course, and I absolutely love this palette. The names on it crack me up. She uh, is originally from Alabama, too, so you have a shade called Jaybird, and if you live in the South, you have probably heard a mother or grandmother say, somebody as naked as a jaybird. So that just made me laugh. This is a really good palette. The size is the only thing I'm not really fond of. To give you kind of a reference, here's an Anastasia palette. And compared to it, I mean, it's significantly bigger. So traveling with this one is not really my uh, biggest jam. But, but I do love the colors. And there's some pretty formal, what I would call bridal type shades in that. Next, I'm going to go into what I have on my eyes today. This is a very well-loved palette in my collection. It's the Tartlet in Bloom. It is more of rosy, neutral type shades. This row right here, the bottom, um, Sweetheart, Rebel, and Leader is what I have on my eyes today. And one thing is, I know it's nothing um, to get super excited about, but one thing that I love about Tarte is if you smell their eyeshadows, it smells like candy. Something that I would walk, I'm blinding y'all, something I would walk into a bakery and do. Uh, super soft, super blendable. Um, I have not tried the original Tartlet palette, but the In Bloom is absolutely to die for. It's my favorite. My mom loves it. Whenever I travel, I bring it with me and she likes to use it. And we have, let's see, two, four, six. You have nine mattes and three metallics in here. Really good eyeshadow palette. Now, the next one is one of my, 
I'm pro I've probably said this about all of them, but one of my absolute favorites is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia. Now, you, if you've seen my full face of favorites videos, this is what I used in there. And when I traveled to Italy this past summer, this is the only eyeshadow that I took with me. What I like about this is you have a wide variety of shades. I love plums and purples and that kind of mauve color family. It's in here. You also have lots of warmth. You have a terracotta here. You have red ochre, burnt orange. You can go really cool and you also can go really warm. And these two metallics right here, um, Primavera and Vermeer, if you just wet your eyeshadow brush just a tad bit and then put it on your eye, it packs a lot of punch. The outside of these is not my favorite. It's kind of a velvet type, which can get pretty dirty. But the Modern Renaissance, as far as color family, versatility, is one of my absolute favorites. Another new discovery from Anastasia is the Soft Glam Palette. This is what I love for more of an everyday type palette. I have mostly warmth, but these three metallics right here, rose pink, sultry, and bronze are to die for. The most unique shade in this palette to me is Dusty Rose here. It is a taupe with lots of purple and gray undertones. It's very beautiful. Again, outside is velvet, but I feel like with these two, you can't really go wrong. Now, I have an honorable mention that I would like to share with you guys, mostly because I'm almost positive that this is not available anymore, but it is by Tarte. It is a make believe in yourself. It's kind of hard to see because, you know, gold packaging and bright lights for filming. But it is, it has all but one of the shades is metallic, but these are absolutely beautiful applied with your finger. Now, um, there are some bold shades in here. You have Dream, which is a blue, Fairy, it's purple, um, Marvel, which is a lime green. And I love these for, put a quick bronzer in the crease, pick one of these that matches my outfit, dab it on with my finger and I'm out the door. Round packaging, not super convenient, but then again, the size is fairly small, so for travel, it's not really an issue. So there you've got it. There are all of my top favorite higher-end eyeshadow palettes. I will list everything in the description box below along with the prices and links to where you can purchase these. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.